earned value management. I've talked about it so many times, but it never grows old. I've used earned value in my job in a company. This was the beginning and end of my day. I would spend days on end churning out earned value management calculations, talking to senior management about why our project showed a bad CPI, bad SPI, or why the trajectory of earned value graphs looked grim or bleak on programs and projects. So this is stuff I have eaten and drank and had a party with. That's right, a party. It became so ingrained that I decided to write a book called Earn Value Basics. So earn value is real. But here's the good news. Earn value is easy to understand. So I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to talk about three very easy concepts to grasp in earn value to allow you go further, study earn value more, and build upon this very, very basic but strong foundation. So let's go. Dan is an IT project manager. He's having a bad hair day in earned value. But it doesn't start off that bad. It starts off well. It starts off with him making a promise. He says, I promise to get five servers installed in five days at $12,000 per server. There's a term we use in earned value known as BAC. BAC is extremely important in earned value because this is the basis of your promise. In fact, this is your promise. If he promised to get five servers installed in five days at 12 grand per server, then we're talking about the budget at completion. BAC is the budget at completion. So think about it. Five servers, $12,000 per server. What is the budget at completion? Add it up. Multiply it by five or add it all up. The BAC for his project is $60,000. He thinks he's a master planner. Well, this is the breakdown on the right hand side. That's his install plan. 12 grand. You can see it every day for five days. Add it up, multiply it. You get your budget at completion. Now, there's another term that is very important to grasp in earned value management. And this term is the planned value. So, what is the planned value for day one? The planned value for day one is $12,000. What does that mean? It means that the budgeted cost of the work scheduled for day one is $12,000. It means he budgeted $12,000 for day one. And as you take a look at his install plan, you can also see that for day two and three and four and five, the plan value is 12000 as well. So plan value is the budgeted cost of work scheduled across a particular time period. In this example, it is a one-day time period, $12,000. So the plan value for day one is 12000 I hope you got it right. So Dan ends up completing all the work for day one. If he got all the work that he had planned for accomplished, what is the value of work completed? Now I'm taking you into another important metric for you to grasp earn value better. Think about it. If he got all the work done, what is the value of work done? The value of work completed is, of course, the price tag you put on it, 12 grand. So, in the world of earned value management, the value of the work you get done is the value of the price tag you put on it. If I said 
I'm going to get this work done and it's going to be done for five grand. If I got all of it done, it's worth five grand. If I got half of it done, it's not worth five grand. It's worth half of five grand or it's worth 50% of five grand. So follow along. The value of work completed in this example is 12,000. Dan doesn't look really happy about this. I wonder why. Let's follow along and find out if something happened. Well, what do you call this value of work completed? The value of this work completed is known as earned value. He seems a bit happier now. Well, it's the budgeted cost of work performed, BCWP. Earned value is the value of work you've completed. So Dan ends up completing all the work for day two. However, he spent 15000 So day one's come and gone. Let's leave that alone. Let's focus on day two. Now, one of the things you need to know about earned value is it could be used across the entire project or you could look at each time period in tiny little chunks. In this instance, we're going to take a look at day two on its own. Just day two. So Dan ends up completing all the work for day two. That's not bad. But he spent $15,000. What is this cost called? That is $15,000, and it's called the actual cost. My goofy team went over budget. Just look at that. He's not very happy. Taking a look at his install plan, it doesn't seem to be going according to plan. So much for him being a master planner. Take a look at his day one. He spent $14,000 instead of the twelve he promised. But take a look at day two. It's getting worse. Day one, you can see his actual cost was fourteen grand. Day two, you can see his actual cost is fifteen grand. He promised to spend twelve grand on both of those days. Dan has got issues. So let's apply some earned value basics to these metrics. What is the cost performance index? Schedule performance index cost variance and schedule variance at this point. Now surely you know what the plan value is. It's already given, right? You know what the earned value is. You can see it right there. And the actual cost, you can see it as well. So take a look at where I'm pointing. 12 grand for PV, 12 grand for EV, but what stinks is the AC. So do a quick calculation. CPI is earned value divided by actual cost. SPI is earned value divided by plan value. Cost variance is earned value minus actual cost. And schedule variance is earned value minus planned value. What do you come up with? Do the maths. Now, just so you know, on the PMP exam, of course, you could get questions all day long that give you very basic earned value calculations. But one thing you don't want to make the mistake with is the dollar signs after the variances. And no dollar signs, no currency signs, just a straight up number for the indices because it's an index after all. So the answer to all of these, SPI is equal to one, because you're right on schedule, the problem is the actual cost, how much you spent. The CPI is equal to earned value divided by actual cost. That gives you a 0.8. Moving ahead, you can also see the cost variance, not favorable, minus $3,000, as evidenced by the difference between 15 and 12, and the schedule variance is zero dollars, as evidenced by 
12 and 12 and you can see that there is no difference so zero variance so what does this mean the SPI being equal to 1 means that as far as the schedule is concerned you're right on schedule CPI equals to 0 0.8 that means for every dollar you spend you are only getting 80 cents back which means you're losing 20 cents on every dollar spent cost variance is equal to minus three thousand dollars means you are three thousand dollars in the hole over budget schedule variance equals zero dollars means you are right on schedule and you have no amount of schedule to catch up with you're not ahead you're not behind you're right on I hope you enjoyed that scenario for more project management training and coaching Visit praiseon.com if you're preparing for the PMP exam or you would like us to come out and train your team as we have for many other clients such as the U.S. Army, the FBI, NASA and more. Shoot us an email. We'll be glad to help. Thank you very much for your audience and all the best in your project management.